When I was a kid, we called it the wash. And it was basically the sewer. You didn't want to go play in the river. And so there's a whole new kind of relationship of possibility to what the LA River could be. The critical challenge that current LA seeks to address is building meaning and a value system around our stormwater system in Los Angeles. Water is a critical natural resource. So can we use art as a way to respond to some of our city's most pressing problems? I think we can. Current LA happening across the city, it's going to create a web of activities that many different communities can interface with. 15 artist projects are going to represent a lot of diversity, and there's a lot of creative ideas, there's a lot of challenging ideas, there's a lot of pushing that artists get to do, and that's an exciting opportunity. I'm going to change them out. If you're a citizen in LA, you're hearing about water, you're hearing that we're in drought, and this is really a celebration of the city coming together to think about it. All of the art is public art. So I think it's a great opportunity as a place for people to come together and, and talk about the future of the city. My project for Current LA is a sculpture that is framing the Port of Los Angeles, which is where 40% of the goods come into the United States. So the center of the earth is two drinking fountains. They're gold, chrome, plated, cast aluminum, and they both sit on something reminiscent of an altar. We're doing a large scale projection from the First Street Bridge of data from filmed soil samples every 10 feet, so that a depiction of 10 feet to 1400 feet is a journey back in time of two million years. It's important that people understand that that art in the public space can be beautiful, but it can also deal with critical ideas of their moment. I mean, right now in, in LA, water is on people's mind because we're afraid we're not gonna have enough of it. Is this water just running right down the drain and going out into the city? Who are the people who take care of this place? And hopefully when they start thinking about the things that are beneath their feet, they'll start thinking about what's going on over their head. I think that art has the power to change not just perception, but behavior. And I think that's what this moment in our city is taking the bold approach to say, we need water. We need to manage our water. And we want to use every tool that we have in our tool chest. And if creativity is one of those tools, let's deploy it.